Hello students, I, your teacher Paramita ma'am, welcome you to a new day with a new lesson. Today, you are going to read chapter 2 and the name of the story is The Traders of Sherry. My dear students, this is a story from Jataka Tales about two traders and is known as The Traders of Sherry or The Story of Two Traders. Once upon a time, there were two traders. One of them was kind-hearted and honest, while the other was short-tempered and greedy. One day, both travelled to a nearby town to sell their wares. They separately met an old woman and her granddaughter who had a bowl of gold. Both of them made an offer to the old woman. Then, what happened? Whose offer did the old lady accept and why? Let's come to know from the story. The Traders of Sherry Traders mean dealer or seller. Sherry is a place located 140 km east of Karachi. Once upon a time in the kingdom of Sherry, there was an honest trader. He travelled from place to place selling trinkets and other fancy goods. Sometimes another trader who sold similar wealth, travelled with him. That trader was a greedy man and often cheated his customers. So, from the first few lines, we have come to know that we are going to read a story of two traders. One of them was honest and the other was dishonest. One day, both of them went into the city of Andhapura to carry out their business. To avoid competition, they went in different directions. This was their usual practice. If one found the other in a street, he would not go into that street. Following the usual practice, they divided the city between themselves and began selling their goods. They went through the streets shouting, Beats for sale, Beats for sale. And people came out of their homes to buy goods. So in these paragraphs, we have learned that to avoid competition, the two traders divided the streets of the town between them and in this way they used to sell their goods. An old woman and her granddaughter lived in that city. They belonged to a family of traders and years before they had been very rich. But now they had lost all their money and were very poor. They did whatever work they could find and barely managed to find enough to eat and survive. So, in this paragraph, in the same town, there lived an old lady and her granddaughter. Once, they were very rich, but now they had lost all their money and spent their lives under extreme poverty. They didn't have any fixed work to earn money and so they hardly could manage food for their living. That afternoon, the greedy trader came to their street, shouting, Beats for sale! Beats for sale! When the young girl heard him, she begged her grandmother to buy her something. But we don't have money to buy anything, dear, said the grandmother. There's nothing valuable we can offer in exchange either. The girl looked around the house and found an old black bowl that the neighbor used. She took it to her grandmother and said, Grandmother, look, here's an old bowl. We never use it. Let us ask him if he'd give us something in exchange for this bowl. The old woman looked sadly at the bowl. 
It was the bowl her husband always used when he was alive. After his death, she had put it away and had forgotten all about it. What she didn't know was that the bowl was made of gold and was very valuable. It was black only because it had collected several layers of dust and grime over the years. Seeing no harm in selling it, she decided to exchange it for an ornament her granddaughter liked. So in these paragraphs, what happened? That in one afternoon, when the greedy trader came to their street, the little girl requested her grandma to buy her something. But the old lady hardly managed their food for living. How would she buy something else? Then the girl looked around the house and found an old black bowl. It was the little girl's grandfather's bowl. He always used it when he was alive. After his death, the old lady put it away and forgotten all about it. So, the bowl left unused for several years. But the old lady didn't know that it was a golden bowl and it became black with layers of dirt for many years. That's why she couldn't recognize it. So, she thought there is no harm in selling it. So, the grandmother decided to exchange the bowl so that she can purchase something for her granddaughter. She called out to the greedy trader and invited him into their house. She showed him the bowl and said, Sir, my granddaughter would like to buy a trinket. Would you give her something she chooses from your wares and take this bowl in exchange? The greedy trader didn't think much of the bowl but decided to look at it anyway. He took it in his hand, turned it over and scratched the back of it with a needle. When the layers of dirt fell, he realized it was a bowl of made, bowl made of real gold. It was worth more than all the money he had. But since the old woman didn't know its worth, he decided to cheat her. He thought, I'll make them believe that the bowl is worthless and walk away now. Then I'll come back later and pretend to take up their offer because I pity them. That way they will give it to me for very little money. So he threw the bowl on the floor and shouted, Why did you waste my time? This bowl isn't even worth a single bit from my goods. He then turned around and walked away, happy that his plan was working. So, in these paragraphs, when the old lady offered the bowl for an exchange, the greedy trader understood that the lady didn't know its value. So, the greedy trader decided to cheat her. He thought that he would throw the bowl down and walk away in disgust. Later on, he would return and offer to buy the bowl as if out of pity for them. He thought the old lady would sell the bowl to him very cheap. So he went away happily. Right then, the honest trader came into the street. Since he didn't find the other peddler there. He decided it was all right to try selling his wares in this street. When they saw him, the young girl and her grandmother decided to try their luck with this trader. So they called him and showed him the bowl, half expecting him to throw it on the floor too. But 
As soon as he realized it was made of gold, he said, Mother, this is a golden bowl and I don't have enough money to buy it from you. It is worth at least a thousand silver coins and I have only five hundred silver coins with me. The old woman couldn't believe her ears. But the other peddler threw it on the floor, saying it is worthless. She said, Please take it and we will accept anything you give us in return. He gave her all the money he had and still felt he was not being fair. So he gave them all his goods too. He kept just enough money to get back home and left with the bowl. So in these paragraphs, when the old lady and her granddaughter were very upset from the greedy trader's words, then the honest trader came into the street and they offered the bowl to him too. As soon as the honest trader realized that the bowl was made of gold, he immediately told the lady about the worth of it. Being very honest, he admitted that he didn't have enough money to buy the bowl, but offered all he had and even some of his goods in return. Shortly after he left, the greedy trader returned to their house and told them he was willing to consider their offer because he felt pity for them. The old woman became furious. You crook! You told us that the bowl was worthless? You thought you could cheat us? Luckily, an honest trader came and bought it from us for almost a thousand silver coins. You were too late. When the peddler heard it, he was in agony. You cheated me of my golden bowl. I was the first one to realize it was made of gold. It should be mine. He ran after the other trader, hoping to catch him and take the bowl from him. But by then, the honest trader had crossed the nearby river and gone away to another town. The greedy peddler was so disappointed at having lost a fortune that by the time he reached his house, he was terribly sick. The good trader took the bowl to another city and it fetched him more money than he had imagined. He went home a rich man. He continued to be good and honest to his customers and lived happily for many years. So, at the end, the honest trader got the bowl, sold it in another city and got more money than he had imagined. He returned home as a rich man. On the other hand, the dishonest trader missed the opportunity and was punished for his greed. He returned home empty-handed. So, my dear students, once again the story teaches us that honesty is rewarded while greed is punished. So, you read the story once again. I hope you have understood it. That's all. Thank you.